today we shall discuss the difference between the bank rate and the repo rate i have already made separate videos explaining both these terms and now we come over the differences the first is the meaning bank rate is the rate that central bank charges for a loan which they provide to commercial banks whenever commercial banks approach central bank in case of financial crisis obviously they have to pay a certain rate of interest that rate of interest is called bank rate the repo rate repo rate is that rate which relates to the loans offered by rbi to commercial banks not without collateral means you will be commercial banks will be taking loan from rbi but on the basis of a collateral that rate refers to the repo rate second point bank rate relates to the loans offered by rbi to commercial banks without any collateral see in the bank rate case there is no collateral no securities and no bonds it is simply the rate of discount okay here in the repo rate loans offered by rbi to commercial banks with collateral right the securities are pledged as a security for the loans like whenever we go to commercial banks normal citizens we go to commercial banks to take loans to borrow funds generally they ask for a collateral you have to keep something as a mortgage right similarly when commercial banks go to rbi to borrow funds they have to pledge something as a collateral this is the case of repo rate next repurchase bank rate does not allow any facility of repurchase of securities the bank rate simply is the rate of discount repo rate allows repurchase of securities the holder of securities can repurchase them at a later rate therefore repo rate is also called repurchase rate now Uh, when they will be pledging the commercial banks when they will be pledging the securities with rbi in future when the commercial bank will be having excess of funds they will go to the central bank and they can repurchase those securities in the case of repo rate fourth point is the collateral as i said earlier collateral is not involved in bank rate and collateral like securities and bonds are involved in the repo rate system next is the rate comparison if we compare the rate between the two bank rate is often higher than the repo rate and repo rate is always lower than the bank rate sixth point effect on the consumer increasing bank rate has impact directly on the customer as loans now become cheaper which hamper the economic growth they are directly related to the customer if bank rate increases commercial banks find it difficult to lend to the people at a lower rate they also have to increase that rate to the normal citizens so it directly impacts the customer if the bank rate increases the rate from which me and you normal citizens will borrow funds from the commercial banks that also increases so there's a direct impact of the increase or decrease in the bank rate on ultimate we consumers but as far as the repo rate is concerned increase or decrease in repo rate does not affect customer directly see there would be indirect effect you know out of the way effect but direct effect we consider that repo rate does not directly affect normal citizens next goal mainly to satisfy long term goal of the commercial bank and it is used to satisfy short term financial needs so here i don't mean that bank rate is for a longer period no it is the goal you know we set our goals and then we proceed on that way so if we will talk about the tenure it will be a different point here i am talking about the goal if it is the goal then you have to write it is a long term goal of the commercial bank here it's short term financial needs next comes the loan tenure so don't confuse between these two points bank rate relates to the borrowings by commercial banks to cope up with their immediate cash crunch abhi abhi right now repo rate relates to the short term borrowings by the commercial banks i hope it is clear right next point is bank rate no pre purchasing involved here there is an existing repurchasing agreement you have to sign that agreement beforehand for the repurchase next bank rate is a measure which helps in deciding loan lending rates in the country and here repo rate is a measure that is used to control inflation by deciding the rate of liquidity so as i told you that this directly affects the 
normal citizens loan lending rates in the country are directly affected by the bank rate and here repo rate it's an actual tool to control inflation to decide the rate of liquidity here we come to the end of the article i hope i have th made the things very clear you understood it please please like and subscribe to my channel do comment me in the comment box thanks for watching stay safe stay blessed